Well, hello there. Are you guys ready for another leak detector test? Well, that's irrelevant because we're doing one anyway. <laughs> but I got some good leak detectors here today. We have what you guys consider the best leak detector of all time. And if you don't consider it, I mean you guys in a majority sort of way. So let's take a look at the first leak detector in the final 134A square off. It's the H10 Pro, the all-in-one American-made leak detector versus the Robin Air LD7 dual mode leak detector. So the H10 is a fan favorite, it always has been. The Robin Air is fairly new to the block, but it looks very cool. I played with it yesterday and it's really cool. It's got a graph feature, which I'll take a picture of so we can follow along with it. Very cool stuff. I'm very curious to see who's gonna win on 134A. It's been more difficult for these leak detectors than R22 has been in the past, in general. So let's see who wins. Let's start with 130 PSI on the coil, and we'll start with the H10. Just for reference, I'm gonna run this in manual mode on the small leak setting. This is the H10 Pro. Then I'll turn this dial up as needed to get a nice steady beep where the calibration goes into the OK area. Well, it definitely senses the leak. It's starting to slow down a little bit. Yeah, OK. H10 found it. Guys, now we have the mode is just for searching audibly. It has a little green blinking bar graph that will increase as we find a leak. Here we go. So it found that leak right away. Yep, it found the leak right away. So we're gonna go on to round two. We now have the coil pressure at around 85 PSI. We are starting with the Robin Air LD7 in this round. It does find the R134 leak at 85 PSI. Let's go in again. Yep. So confirmation, the Robin Air makes it past this round. Now let's see how the H10 does. Definitely found that leak. Going back again. Yep. Definitely found the leak. H10 passes the test, so we're going to the third round. We now have a coil pressure of 50 PSI for round three. We're going to start with the Robin Air LD7. It found the leak. Impressive. Impressive, Robin Air kicking some ass, man. Nice. All right, the Robin Air does it. What about the H10? H10 speeds up, it does find it. It's not a screamer anymore, but it does find it. Yep, it's definitely still locating this leak. And for the first time, we're gonna have a round four. We now have our coil pressure down to just over 25 PSI, the lowest we have tested so far. That's really low. All right, we have the H10. Let's move in close, see if it speeds up at all. Seems like it does speed up just a little bit. It's hard to tell. Back it off again. All right, we've slowed it down. You can tell it still senses a leak. It's faint, not as strong as before, but it does speed up when it gets close. Yep, it definitely senses the leak still. Pretty impressive job by the H10. Not a strong, strong signal, but it still does pick it up. All right, the LD7 is back. Let's get in there. All 
Not picking up anything there. Oh, wait a second. That could have been just from the motion. All right. Let's try it again. It did pick it up. A good job from the LD7. It will auto zero, so if you leave it there, it'll recalibrate and not ring off again. A little bit of a false reading in the air here. Be nice to see if we can ring off again because there was a false reading, and what's to say we didn't didn't just get a false reading here? Not really getting anything. It did ring off right in the right spot though. That was kind of exciting. That was super close, guys. The LD7 and the H10 did a great job. Even went to a fourth tier, which none of the other leak detectors have done so far, at least on 134A. So who is the winner? That is tough, guys. That is so tough, in fact, that I think I'm going to put both of them in the finals because they both did a great job. Now, you can argue the H10 beat the LD7 because it rang off a little bit, then the LD7 might have had a false ring off on that last challenge, and it might have. That's why I want them both back for the finals. We're going to bring all the league detectors that were scoring very high on 134A back for one final test because every time you do this test on this coil, which is here, the concentrations are going to be a little bit different between the 134A and then the pressure gas, which is nitrogen, which I'm putting in there to boost the pressure. So each time it's probably a little bit different. So we want the last test to be uniform with all the winners. So we're going to do that. So stay tuned next time. We're going to bring all the best ones back and find out who the grand champion of 134A really is.